Hello guys, I am Raj Shivari, your buddy and your host. Welcome to you all to your channel Learn Anything where we always learn something new every day. So, uh, in the last video I have shown you how to use PyCharm, how to you how to actually open the PyCharm and how to download and how to um, get started with it. But in this uh, tutorial, in this video, I am going to show you how you can uh, import, not import, how you can install the Python programs, the Python packages which you used to install in the uh, Python IDLE folders like uh, by using PIP and PIP3 but there you have to use a lot of codes, a lot of uh, boring stuff but here in the PyCharm there is a more easy and good way to uninstall and install a new package so you just have to click on file R remember guys that this is what I am talking about Windows version I am not talking about Mac and Linux uh, because for that there is a, uh, another procedure so you so if you are on windows then you just have to click on file then go to settings um, it is opening so in the settings if you are opening the settings for the first time what you will get is you will be on appearance and behavior okay and from that you have to go on project and whatever the name of your project my name uh, my project name is untitled and then you just have to uh, click on this uh, it will be like this for you okay and this will be open if you are using it for first time then you just have to click on uh, the project colon the name of your project and uh, then project interpreter okay and now it is processing 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 you can see here oh man well well you can see guys that it is actually loading the packages list okay and i have a lot of packages so this is long but it is loading okay guys so you can see that here is the whole list of the packages that i have already installed in my computer okay uh, this is not the list of the all the packages that are available on the sites but this is the all list of all packages that are installed this time in my computer personally and uh, suppose that you wanna install or uninstall something some package then what you will do well first of all I'm gonna show you how you can do how you can install okay install a new package so for that you just have to go on this green arrow okay you can see this this green arrow it is not arrow sorry it is plus mark green plus mark and you can also see that install is written now you just have to click on it now a new window opens make sure that you have a constant internet connection because if you don't have it will just show you an error that it is not able to find the list of the modules okay so make sure that you have an internet connection so this is the whole list of modules available for python okay whole list that is available for python online which you can download okay this is the whole list and remember guys that you don't have to click on it install to user set packages directly no don't click on it now what you will have to do is suppose that you wanna install um suppose you wanna install pyttfx that is python text to speech then you have to click on this um, search box yeah search box and then you have to type uh, pyttfx 
so type here um p y d t s x okay so this is the module right now you, what you have to do is just click on install package hmm got it guys understood once you click on it it will start installing our package well actually i have already installed it and now you can see that it is in installing the package uh, let me show you look at here the the uh, lower line of ide installing package pyttsx now since i have already installed it i will just cancel it oh i cannot cancel it oh man since i have already installed it it, it will reinstall it obviously that's what it, it can do at maximum well so that's how you can uh, install packages okay python packages python modules packages or modules right now suppose you want to install pocket sphinx so here it is pocket sphinx now what you have to do is okay you can see here that uh, python interface to c my cmu sphinx with and pocket sphinx libraries uh, version point 13 0 0.01 uh, sorry 0 0.1.3 this is a version and author is dimitri Press T oh, whatever oh man it is having a really tough name to speak now you have to click on it right then you just have to click on install package and just like the PYTD SS is installing the pocket strings will also in install and it will be not it will be free from any glitches and errors so this that's how you can install the packages in uh, in uh, IDE PyCharm okay now suppose that you wanna uninstall some package right obviously because uh, you are not going to just dump every package in your computer and uh, fill its memory so obviously you also want to uninstall some packages so what you can do is uh, just guess what we can do we clicked on positive mark to install right now to uninstall what we can do is we can click on negative mark so what you have to do is suppose that you wanna uninstall um, pyttsx this is what I have already installed now suppose that you wanna un uninstall it so you just have to select it by clicking it and then click on negative mark now once you clicked it you can see that here it is uh, it is written two processes running now let me show you what are the two, two processes uh, first of all let me close it I'm gonna say okay so now let me show you what are the true processes so if you wanna see how many processes and uh, which are the processes running this time then you, you just have to click on it okay it will come to red color and then it will show you what are the pro processes running this time so you can see that the one process is installing python package pytttsx and another one is uninstalling python package uh, pytttsx and they are actually uninstalling and installing the same package wow okay so let me just cancel it and let me just cancel this also so now once you click the cross arrow cross button it is now stopping both the both the processes okay now just minimize it so you can see and remember guys that uh, if you see something like indexing this time uh, indexing here written then you can write your code but you cannot run until the indexing process is done completely okay so you, you will have to let it complete so let's write something uh, good let's write something simple okay let's uh, write print print and then 
um, what do you, uh, yes parentheses and then you just have to click strings you have to uh, press quotation button okay yeah, well it works same as the regular ide ideally you just have to type the codes and it will give you results and uh, that's it for this video i hope that you like this video and uh, i hope that it helped you a, a little at least so so that you can install and uninstall the python package that you don't need so uh, till the next video goodbye and uh, don't forget to subscribe guys because i need your support and if you like this uh, video then please give it a like if you dislike this video then you can also give it a dislike then but please uh, please 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 subscribe this this uh, channel because i need your support and uh, if you have any questions or uh, if you want to suggest me something then you can also give uh, give your questions and suggestions in the comment box i will definitely reply you guys because uh, i know that my subscribers are the are must be at the top uh, my pri my first priority is my subscribers and the viewers okay so i will definitely re reply you guys and uh, don't hesitate to give to ask any question because i am here to help you and uh, whatever your question is i will try my best to help you to solve it and uh, if you suggest me something then i i will really try it to uh, get into reality to uh, use it in my videos and it i will really hi highly appreciate the, your suggestions then uh, I, then please subscribe me and uh, we will meet in the next video with a new topic on pycharm and uh, Till then, goodbye.